New screen. Okay, that's enough for testing. We're gonna turn the phone on first. Customer will be very happy because device isn't working. What is with the power button? No, everything is dead. Now the customer gonna tell you, you broke its phone. Hello everybody, welcome to a new repair show. This isn't a repair, but I'm sometimes very curious or how some people or shops can repair devices in such a way or refurbish them and sell them in such a crappy way. So let me show you what we're talking about. We have an iPhone 11. Customer came here because yeah, she had a lines in display and wanted to replace the display. She said the volume down button is also not working. Uh, there is no, it's just nothing, leads to nothing. Okay, good. Then I open up the device and what do we see? What do we get? What we get is what we you see. So this is how the phone looks inside. Um, I picked out some screws here. They were loose here and also at the bottom here. Um, someone tried to screw them in. I don't know what they did. Um, we have here two stickers, one on the metal plate and one on the board itself. So I think this board has been refurbished. I don't know by whom or what. That's okay. We had a, a lot of glue here, also here. A lot of screws here were, were loose, also here at the Taptic engine. I all screwed them back in tightly. Um, yeah. What else do we got? Um, we had two, uh, two adhesives here. Um, well, partially. Uh, sometimes we had one, but so for me, it looks like this display was already twice replaced. And both of them didn't care about putting a new adhesive in, so you got always less. And yeah, I had two layers here and a lot of nothing. And then here also two layers and a lot of nothing. That's not the way you do it. The back isn't very, it looks all a bit strange. As you can see here, I think that is a completely refurbished phone. As we can see here, the magnet has also been replaced. Oh, it's just loose okay not gonna be like that good not a big deal so we took the battery out and what we get else i found a piece of metal here underneath the battery interesting what is it i don't know aluminium what does it do underneath the battery i don't know not really a good place um well it's uh here we have some Glass splinters, interesting. Let's get rid of that. Um, yeah, here we have some glue, so I think that's not original. Here we have uh, something bended over the flex. Squeeze down the antenna. Um, yeah, something blue in here. Screws here seem okay. The board, I'm not sure. Also seems okay-ish. Connectors. Oh, we found a piece of glass or is it the new one? I don't know. Here we have again that symbol, like the other one, similar. Maybe someone recognizes this, so... But we don't know if this was... Well, the one who replaced the housing did a quite an ugly job. See here that flex? Let's put also some tape here, just to keep it secure. Okay, here we have some glue or adhesive i do not know here we have also a lot of glue i don't know what they tried maybe it fell out and they tried to glue it back yeah we have some puncture in the corner 
so the housing has been definitely replaced. These screws were all loose from the motor. That's okay, we're gonna leave that. A lot of markings, FIMA taps, and yeah, plastic. Here we have it. also, I don't know if someone put a warranty sticker here or looks like art. A volume and power button where we have a missing screw. We're going to put that in. This one also gets loose. How about you? It's tight. Another goop. Cocon. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's it. That's all the mess we got. Um, I'm putting this back together. Um, I'm going to put some new adhesive on the battery. I'm going to put it back in. Um, we have some punctures here. We're also going to cover that. I'm going to tell the customer that there is a puncture. Shouldn't be a big deal if it hasn't been now. Um, New screen. Okay, that's enough for testing. We're gonna turn the phone on first. Customer will be very happy because device isn't working. What is with the power button? No, everything is dead. Now the customer gonna tell you you broke its phone. What's wrong? Is the battery empty? Did we destroy the battery? We're taking it out, this complete garbage. That's the other side if you attempt to try to make quality repairs. If I wouldn't have touched the battery, there won't be an issue, but it seems like, I don't know, the battery doesn't work anymore, my guess. Let's see if we can charge it. And that's when a display replacement, an easy display replacement, is becoming something very, very long and exhausting. Doesn't feel great. I don't know what they did, uh, but the volume down button works again. So let's turn it off. Whoop. It works, good. Everything is fine. This may have just been a glitch. More light, please. So I made it a little bit better than it was, I think. Oh. SMS, we number. Push it, push it, push it. Another mistake a lot of people do when they're replacing displays, they're not pulling, pushing the frame right in. So it happens with a lot of aftermarket screen that the screen lifts off. 
that is just happening because it isn't where it should be. You won't press too hard that you break the screen. See that? Hear that? We made another click. Now I'm going to put it on the heating platform. After that, I'm going to put some clamps on to make the adhesive press out the leftover air. And that's it. So we refurbished another phone. We did make it a little bit better. And yeah, the customer was struggling already with replacing the display. He wanted to spend anything else. So we just did a little bit more than other shops do. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.